Have a blessed Sunday, everyone. In today's Gospel, Jesus is telling the Pharisees a parable of the rich man and the poor Lazarus. From this parable, we have heard that after the two had died, they were directed to their individual judgments. The rich man was brought to the netherworld or in hell, while Lazarus was carried away by angels to the bosom of Abraham, or so, so to speak, in heaven. Definitely, we would be thinking that the rich man must be a sinner, while Lazarus must be a good man. But what was the sin of the rich man that made him be brought to eternal damnation? Where in fact, in the story, he did nothing physical worse to Lazarus. But he did not also do physical good to Lazarus. That was his mistake. The rich man's richness was not the reason for bringing him to hell, but his sin of omission, that is, doing nothing good to others. Undeniably, many of us are indifferent to the needs of others. We tend to mind only our own sake. This is the prevailing problem of our society today. Sometimes, we don't practice the virtue of looking after the needs of others. That's why poverty is one of the unsolvable problems that we have been facing until today in our country. On the other hand, Lazarus became joyful as he had received eternal happiness in heaven after he, had, he died, not because of his being poor and dependent. We should not think that just being poor could make us grant the eternal life after we die. But remember, in one of the Beatitudes of Jesus that says, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. It means that God would grant the kingdom of heaven to those who are poor, but poor in spirit. It doesn't necessarily mean of being poor economically, but being humble in ourselves. Part of being humble is to become sensitive to others' needs. Today's Gospel is reminding us to become sensitive to others' needs. We are reminded that we are all in one body, one church. Thus, we need to be fair to others by looking after and providing what they lack and what they need. By this way, we may become like Lazarus that was carried away by the angels to the bosom of Abraham, or shall we say, to the eternal life in heaven. That's all. Thank you and good day, everyone.